Hello, hello. In this tutorial video, we're going to revisit a topic that we just touched on very recently, which was triggering Tableau extract refreshes programmatically using the REST API. So we're going to revisit that topic, but we're going to expand a bit. Instead of just triggering one single refresh, uh, we're going to trigger multiple extract refresh tasks and the the thing we're really tackling here is this concept of what if you have like 20, 50, 100, maybe even thousands of extract refresh tasks on a schedule and some kind of, you know, mini catastrophe strikes and your your data wasn't ready at, you know, 8 a.m., let's say, when the schedule's supposed to run. So you stop the schedule or the schedule ran, but everything had out-of-date data. But now your pipeline has been fixed, the, the data is there, and you want to just rerun all of these uh, extracts. Uh, you know, For whatever reason, you might want to tap into a schedule that exists that has multiple extract refresh tasks associated with it, and you might want to trigger each of those tasks. So after the previous video, I did get a question about this, like, hey, is there a way I could use the API to trigger all of these tasks? And so I'm going to show you one way you could do that in this video. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to vizstack.io because without them, I couldn't do these examples of using schedules, like creating my own schedules and assigning extract refresh tasks to them. Um, through the data dev, uh, program, you do have a free Tableau Online site, but Tableau Online is a bit limited in terms of uh, what you're able to do in the full scope of managing a Tableau server. So what this group is doing for me, what vizstack.io has done is allowed me to make this video for you by giving me a hosted Tableau server environment. So their product isn't fully released yet, but, uh, but check them out, keep an eye on them because I've been using this and it's been great basically get all the advantages of having Tableau online, but I actually have the full functionality of being in a Tableau server and I have multiple sites I can interact with. Anyways, uh, let's focus on the topic of the day. So we do have a uh, schedule that I created down here, tutorial extract schedule. Inside this schedule, we have multiple extracts. So whereas in the previous video, we would have only used the API to trigger one of these tasks, now we're going to actually query the schedule, find out what is living inside of it, and then we're going to uh, just knock on the door of each one of those tasks and say, hey, could you please refresh your data for me? And then we'll check in on the status of each of those. So we'll be able to know if any one of them encountered an issue and you'd be able to do whatever you need to do accordingly. So let's hop in to the actual code. Uh, for starters, if you are a veteran of these tutorials, you uh, will probably understand everything that's happening here. If you're not, go check out the getting started with Tableau API lib video. Essentially, we are using the Tableau API lib library to connect to our Tableau server environment. So we pass information that tells us where the server is and uh, our credentials and then we are able to sign in. So now that we are signed in, if we're talking about finding all of the extract refresh tasks that exist within a schedule and then triggering all of them, the first thing we need to know is information about our schedules. Now maybe you've done all your re research up front and you don't care about the step. If so, go ahead and fast forward like a minute, but I am adding this optional step here of us uh, getting information about our schedules. So we are going to use the Tableau API libs querying function, get schedules data frame, to do none other than get a data frame filled with information about our schedules. Uh, now this does return a, to us every single schedule on this site that we are authenticated into or on the server, uh, rather. And so these schedules might not all be relevant. For example, here I'm seeing some subscriptions. Well, we're talking about extract refresh schedules, so uh, we could filter this out. In fact, um, filtering this out is uh, especially useful if you are doing something like assigning an extract refresh task. And just to go into the weeds here for a second, since this is going to be a shorter video anyways, 
um, something that you might end up with in a, in a real world environment is you don't want to put every single extract refresh onto the same schedule. Uh, you don't want to overload a schedule that's going to overwork your backgrounders for, you know, for no reason. So maybe when you're adding workbooks to a schedule, you might not care exactly when in the day it gets refreshed as long as it's getting refreshed daily or weekly or whatever. If that were the case, then you could just query all of your extract refresh schedules and have a process that kind of randomly determines which, uh, which of these schedules to add that particular task to. Now, if you have a very specific you know, schedule in mind, then of course you wouldn't want to do this, but just throwing this out here that you, know, you can get creative and if you query your schedules and you want to uh, distribute evenly you know, your, your workload, you could figure out how many tasks are associated with any given uh, schedule and then you could pick a schedule that's not already overloaded. Just some food for thought. All right, so we can see all these schedules that exist for our extracts and I'm just uh, showing you this so that if you didn't already know the schedule ID, you now know how you could easily find that with the Tableau API lib library. And I'm going to say uh, the schedule I care about is this tutorial extract schedule. I want its ID. And now we can see that I have its ID ready to be used. So now the next step is uh, querying that schedule, finding out um, what extract refresh tasks exist inside of it. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can see the results here. I have uh, four tasks that are coming out. Let's cross-reference that. Looks like I have four tasks out here, so it checks out. And um, looks like only one of these is associated with a workbook. By the way, this could be interesting to know. So three of these are data sources that are going to be refreshed. One of them is a workbook. And now we get into this, um, this concept of, okay, how do I go through and take this, uh, this information I now have about all these different tasks that are associated with the schedule, how do I execute an extract refresh uh, for each of these? So that's exactly what we're doing here. We're going to define an empty list called responses so that as we execute each of these tasks, uh, we can throw the response that the server gives to us into this list so we could check on it later. You know, if you're really trying to automate things, you probably want to, uh, you know, keep tabs on what jobs you've triggered so you could maybe loop through that and see, okay, did these succeed or did they fail? If they failed, I might want to try again, or I might want to alert someone so they can check in and see what happened. So we do that here, and what this next little bit is saying is uh, we're using the iterose method that belongs to any pandas data frame. And what it's going to do is it's going to iterate through the rows of that data frame. And in this case, each row represents a different extract refresh task that we have. And each of those tasks has an ID value. So for each row, we take that ID and we pass that into this run extract refresh task method. All this method needs is a task ID and then it triggers that task. So we do that and then we append the response to our responses list, which we can see down here, tells us that, uh, that we have triggered that extract refresh task and there is a specific job that's been created that kind of monitors that task for us. So if we wanted to, we can play this out even further. You know, already those extract refresh jobs have been triggered. So we've already accomplished what we came here to do. But if we want to be really thorough, we might want to not call the, you know, it, <laughs> it ain't over till it's over. And so we, we want to check in and see if each of these jobs has completed. So a really basic way we can do this is to again define an empty list, job statuses. And I'm going to say for each of those responses that we have above, let's go ahead and query the job where the job ID is pulled from this little bit of information here for each of those jobs. And let's see what this looks like. And for all of our job statuses now, we could go through and we could see what the progress is. So if you really wanted to be you know, the shining star, being all that you can be, you might even build a process that uh, that just doesn't let itself finish 
until every single one of these jobs is complete. Then it would flag this as, you know, thumbs up. We did it, boss. Uh, everything's refreshed. We had, you know, 100% success rate. We're all good. In this case, everything's already succeeded. But if you wanted to, you could take this to the uh, to the next level with automation. Anyways, this should get you started if you're trying to do any kind of automation around saying, hey, I have a schedule and I'd like to refresh everything associated with that schedule. Now you know how you could go about doing that. So hopefully this has been useful to you and go ahead and check out these other videos on the YouTube channel if you'd like to see other aspects of Tableau server automation. And uh, definitely keep an eye on vizstack.io. This, uh, this has been really great having um, a fully managed Tableau server environment, just like Tableau Online, but just with a few extra bells and whistles. So hopefully this has really been useful for you. Catch you next time.